Okay, yeah, so uh, my name's Elliot Hasler and uh, I'm about to go into my second year at the University of Exeter. I'm doing history. Uh, the, the passion sort of started when I was about 10, so like nine years ago now. Well, at the moment, I'm doing my second feature, uh, Vindication Swim, it's called. So we've been shooting that out on the uh, the English Channel for the last couple of weeks now. But, I mean, it's, it's the toughest thing I've ever done. I mean, everyone says that, like Spielberg and all them, they like, don't shoot on the water, so... Yeah, I thought I'd give myself a challenge. And it's tough for the actors too. It's, it's, it's very difficult out there. I, I like to think I sort of have my own style, do you know what I mean? But um, if I was looking back, I said probably my biggest influence would be David Lean, who did all those sort of epics back in the 60s, like Lawrence of Arabia and Dr. Zhivago and stuff. Tapping away at the moment, it's gone pretty well so far. So yeah, I'm going to keep at it. Oh, it's very tough. Yeah, it's, it's, not, it's not easy at all. Because, I mean, obviously, where I'm sitting at the moment is independent film. So yeah, there's no big sort of Hollywood studios backing you or anything like that so you've got to really do everything yourself with equipment it's got much better now because obviously like with techno technology increasing and advancing as it is it's so much easier to get out there and film you can do it on your iphone even it's, it does 4k and drones now and all that stuff so equipment i'm all right for it it's, it's really getting the money up and things like that to do it so for my first film there was there was no one really back in it but with, with this next one we've got some investors and stuff so it's kind of the more you work at it the more easy it gets really where I am, I mean, the idea is just to make the film. So um, it's just, yeah, getting it made, putting the money in to get what you want on screen. Uh, and then the distribution, that all comes afterwards. I mean, if you have a good enough film, it all gets, that all gets into like the, the, the business side of it, which I try and stay out of. I think it's when sort of the producers see your stuff and they're willing to, to hire you or to, to turn your script into a film. It's up to them, really. So, I mean, it's out of my control. I can keep doing what I'm doing at the moment, but then when they start latching onto it, then, then it goes from there, yeah. I mean, I've got tons of ideas sort of buzzing through my head constantly. It gets quite annoying, actually, but um, no, for, the, for the moment, I'm just concentrating on this. This is going to take about two years to shoot, so I've got to sort of put all my focus into this one. Well, because I'm at, at Exeter University, I've got to sort of balance it balance the two so um it, it would be it would be quicker to shoot were we able to shoot constantly but then that, that's difficult in itself for people's availability and, and that kind of thing so i mean i'm going to balance it around the studies and so, so and there's a lot of filming to do it's a feature length film it's going to be about two hours in length when it's done especially out on the sea i mean we've we we're really behind schedule doing that because um we sort of had all this stuff planned out with like oh yeah we're going to do it then have this done by then and then about, we had that bad spell of weather a couple of weeks ago and it's just like knocked us right off. So we had to wait until it calmed down again. I mean, they'll need, the film will need to be finished in order for that to happen. So um, after this one, I'm expecting it to be pretty big. So yeah, I'm looking forward to what happens. Well, as soon as I found out um, what the part was and, and I, at first I, I'd actually never heard of Mercedes Gleitz before and I'm from Brighton, so... Um, I was really intrigued. And then when I looked her up, I thought straight away I'd love to play this woman um, because she achieved so much and she was such a fearless young woman. So straight away I wanted to get my teeth into her. Definitely, definitely immersing yourself in their world. And luckily, I, growing up in Brighton, I already feel a huge attachment to my hometown and immersing myself in the sea literally does actually help me get into her skin so yeah it's been a really it's been a really great journey so far it has been tough um i already swim but i've never done open water swimming before especially in the sea so i've had a coach for the last 3 months to get me ready for the film um so yeah a lot of it is about um being able to like swim through the waves and endurance a lot because obviously you, you're not always sure of how far you've gone and um the the long distance is tiring especially when you're being dragged by tides and swells and whatnot and the salt can make your mouth sore so you you have to come over and overcome the coldness as well so there's lots of factors I'm still really enjoying it, but I guess it's the cold because when we're filming, obviously I'm having to get in and out of the water and that be can be quite difficult. And also I get annoyed because I don't have the endurance that Mercedes actually had because I can't swim for 10 hours in the ocean. Um, so it's, um, it's a lot of mind over matter when you get really cold um, from filming or tired. Um, so the physical side, to overcome that, to be able to act it, is, uh, can be quite difficult. And the best bit, I guess, is that, is overcoming those 
obstacles and being able to get a really great scene shot at sea. I mean, the other day we went out and the flags changed to to red flags, so but we managed to get this wonderful piece of footage before we had to come in. So just things like that, dealing with the elements and overcoming them is really satisfying. Elliot is wonderful as a director. He's such a good listener. And um, you'd think he's about 40 years older than he actually is. Uh, he's so, so intelligent and detailed in his work and very patient and very understanding. He always gets in the water with me. So he knows exactly what I'm going through. So he never puts me in a situation that he wouldn't put himself into. So yeah, he's, he's very good.